a lot of questions that we get have to do with the area of sexuality. And Sasha in Sydney has one such question. I want some clarity on the topic of sexuality and what it means for Christians. Is premarital sex a sin? And if so, why do demons not very often claim legal right to be in someone for their sexual immoralities? What do you do if you're dating a Christian guy who has had premarital sex and is not regretful about it? 1 Corinthians has a very clear instruction for you, Sasha, and any others who are engaging in premarital sexual activity. 1 Corinthians 6.18 says, flee fornication. Now, fornication is the term which is used to describe sexual sin. Sex outside of marriage. Now, if you are in a relationship where you are soul bonding in this way with an individual, you need to get that corrected. In fact, note this scripture. The apostle also tells us in 1 Corinthians 6.15 that if someone has sex with a prostitute, they become one with them. That the two become one flesh. So the issue is not the extent of intimacy in the relationship, whether it's casual sex or prostitution or even a deeply committed couple not yet married. The standard is the same. It's wrong. Now, the additional question that you raise is whether or not this opens the door to demons. And as you may have heard me say before, when you have sex under these circumstances, you get an STD, a sexually transmitted demon. Now, that occurs in two ways. First of all, through the sin. It's clearly defined in Scripture as a sin. Secondly, through the soul bond that's created. In other words, it gets worse. When you become one flesh with someone, you have what they have. You get what they've got. And not only them, but it compounds all the evil of all their sexual partners, all the curses of all their sexual partners can bond with you and affect your life. Now you say, well, why isn't this more of a legal right for the devil? I'm not quite sure why you ask that question because in my experience, in the ministry that I do constantly, I see it over and over again. I've literally seen it thousands of times. It is a legal right. If you sexually bond with another person, you create a soul tie the two become one, and as the apostle points out in that same passage that speaks of fleeing fornication, you sin against your own body. Furthermore, in that same passage, he goes on to talk about dishonoring the temple of God. So, so there's, a, there's a lot of disobedience taking place here, and a lot of demonic open doors that are making you vulnerable to some very serious potential problems. If you're dating a guy, as you described, who's had a lot of premarital sex and he doesn't have a problem with that, I have some advice. He needs to really get right with God very quickly and live a morally pure life or you get rid of him. In fact, you don't wait for him to get right with God. You get rid of him now. If God should restore the relationship later because he gets his life cleaned up, that's another thing. But you do not want to continue, as I've just described, risking all of the demonic and spiritual contamination that is possible through this cohabitation. Believe me, I've seen it thousands of times. An individual gets a demon they couldn't have gotten any other way. And it's a demon they don't know that they have. And it's a demon that came from someone that they sexually bonded with. That's why the Bible says, stop 
Stay away from it. Flee fornication. The most frequent demon that I deal with is the spirit of Jezebel, the most prevalent evil spirit of our age. This demon wants to destroy your health, your finances, your marriage, your family, and your church. Learn the tactics of Jezebel throughout history and in the time in which we live. My book, Jezebel, Defeating Your Number One Spiritual Enemy, is your key to overcoming this demon, which is more prevalent than at any time in human history. Get your copy today. Jezebel, defeating your number one spiritual enemy. He took the curses away from me. We'll see Papa Larson because he can help you. If your life isn't all that it should be, if relationships aren't working, if your health, your finances, or your spiritual life are unhappy, schedule a personal one-on-one -on -one encounter with me. We'll get to the root of the issues that are holding you back. We'll give you answers in a whole new direction in life. Oh, what a change, what a difference when you have an encounter with God. Take action. I look forward to seeing you soon. your support for this worldwide outreach to do what Jesus did. For the latest information on resources, seminars, conferences, training institutes, retreats, and international missions, go to boblarson.org. Thank you for your prayers and financial partnership.